Compressible Flow Tutorial for Mark Number. So let's say we have one situation like this, a needle nose projectile traveling at a speed with M3 passes 200 meters above the observer. Calculate the projectile's velocity and determine how far beyond the observer the projectile will first hurt. So you could imagine that there is one object moving fast and then because the mark cone here because it's moving faster than the sound speed so this object will go go through first until uh, for certain distance until the observer will hear its noise so the question is what is the velocity of this object and what is the value of L here so from that situation we could draw a triangle of mark angle like this so we have a 90 degree triangle here so means we could use the idea of trigonometry so let's say that the angle here is alpha so this is the needle nose projectile so this is the length and the height is 200 meters and this is the observer so and then uh, we need to understand we need to remember two basic equation for this uh, tutorial one is Mach number is velocity of, of velocity of object divided by speed of sound and alpha can be calculated by using reverse sine c over v or reverse sine for 1 over m so and then from this uh, equation we could calculate the velocity of needle nose projectile v equal mc and then we substitute the common equation for c is third krt and because uh, this object flies in atmospheric so we could take k is 1.4 and r is 287 these two item is uh, a specific number for air so uh, please remember this if this object moved in hydrogen or nitrogen gas so we we need to use k and r for hydrogen or nitrogen gas so after we calculate this we could say that that object moves with 1021 meter per second and then here from that question it's not given what is the temperature of that situation so we could take it around 288 Kelvin so sometime in uh, to solve problem in compressible flow we need to see uh, table of this one so this table will show you the different of temperature pressure density of air and so on and so forth in different altitude so because our altitude is just 200 meters so so if you do the calculation you could take that the temperature is around 288 Kelvin here so if for example if that object move at 2000 meters altitude so we could assume that on that uh, height the temperature is 275.2 Kelvin so and then from this trigonometry you could say that sine alpha is equal to 1 over m and we already know that Mach number of this object is 3 so we have 1 over 3 and then we could use the idea of sine here so we have the value of 200 meters and hypotenuse and hypotenuse here can be calculated by third uh, l square plus 200 meters square here so if we calculate this one we could take we could calculate the value of l here is equal to 566 meters